we had all the bands, the conversion band, the black band, and you know, just it was it was building up. Then when we came to the school, you had the other building we got, and that really, you know, brought a certain you know order to the school. But you know, the disorder was there. The brother said, most I said. In the end, evil men shall wax worse and worse, no. deceiving and being deceived. No. So it was, it's not like it was a surprise. The scripture said it was going to happen. But the thing is, you got to endure to the end. And the most times we now, those spirits. Just like it was with, with, um, with, um, with Christ, he had his Judas. Moses had his David and Jambres that was trying to come against him. Don't be surprised when you see these things happen. It's, it's part of the weeding out and getting the rebels out and letting the righteous shine. It's all part of the perfecting of the saints. And so we have to look at this as the Most High is perfecting us through our imperfections. So don't deny them, don't run from them, don't fight them, help others who you see is, is in them, perfections. Be a brother to the brother, be a father to the fatherless. Okay, the widows, we have to help our people because the Most High knows that it all starts at home. Okay, you can't go out there and say, I'm super Israel right in your home and a wreck. How are you going to go to Moses High's house and your house is a wreck? Well, it's not an order. And then before that house, this body, this temple is your house. So we got to get to the health of our bodies. How are you going to be teaching and you sick? So we have to get into it and link up with the brothers and sisters who know about the holistic health, get back to the how to eat, how to cleanse our bodies and how to take care of the temple the most high blessed us with. So we can't build a temple of our 12 tribes or build Solomon Temple back on that site and blow that, that, that Dome of the Rock off of there. If y'all know what Dome of the Rock is, it's an air you know, um, structure that's on the site of Solomon's temple that they built. So we're gonna blow that off of there. That's paid. We're gonna build that temple of Solomon back there through the house shot. So, Let's get our minds and bodies and our spirits aligned with the forces. They're starting to align back with us. That's why this knowledge is, is growing throughout the world. That's why you see Israelites everywhere. You see, you see the most highs of one that's causing, like, like you know, in 1996 when the division happened. But we're going to look at that two ways as Israelites. Division is growth as well as decay, depending on the seed that's planted. You see, the body divides. To grow. The cells die and the new ones are put in place and your body grows to your ears and your bones and your organs. But also, you have the bacteria and all the bad stuff that's in your body you live with. You don't want to, you, you don't want that to multiply then you get cancer. You see? So everything is negative and positive. So, so the vision that happened in 96, right, with Israel, with one West 125th Street, right, was a growth as well as a decay. You see? Get it weeding out and exposing the negative so the body can grow healthy and not have these bad organs be rocking with it for the perfecting of the saints. You see? And to look at us. So I look at it like that, you know. It's some of others, you know, it's like, it's like it was a school. It's one of school of UPK. In the school you have what? Guys who get left back. Okay, guys who drop out. And then once who persevere and graduate. And I'm gonna end up in a couple of in, a, in a minute. Now, this Bible is our final exam. All of us have gone through the grades. So you know, this is the reason why that the 12th grade is when you go to the next level. The 12th side of visual. Now we're coming to the graduation ceremonies. Okay, Christ is going to commit those ceremonies. But you got to pass these last finals, okay? It's not going to be easy. You got to stay up late. You got to lose some friends and time and things you want to do. Passing these finals. But in the house, I get out those diplomas, those crowns, those gifts, that power. You're going to be happy you persevere in this. Now we're coming out of the childhood, right? Being children. Graduating from this high school, junior high of life, good and bad. Now we're graduating to the real world. 
right? If you go to college, that's the real world. Okay, whatever job you're gonna do, you get out of high school. Now when Christ comes, we're coming to the adult stages of Godhood, okay, to where we're gonna live for real and deal with these, these scriptures and the laws as adult gods, not baby gods, like Adam was. That's why he's the baby god. And all his power, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, is, and, and dropped it. But now, we're grown now. So let's, let's, let's be grown. See, let's grow up in the spirit, and now in the setting of most high, and let's definitely grow up in love. Oh. It's not in words, but yeah. let's do yeah. these deeds and be for real. So my name is Garash, thank y'all for listening. And we're going to move on and stay strong in the spirit of the Most High and the power of His might. Awesome. Uh, how I can show you how we shot. Awesome. Come on, y'all. 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 Come on, and that brother is, he's, he's here in L.A., right? Thank you. In San Diego, how about that? Okay. Very good, huh? All right, Shalom, everybody. Shalom. Praise the Yahweh. I see you shot, man. Honored to be here, honored to be here, man, of our, you know, few, you know, few elders in this game, especially, man, legends, you know what I'm saying? This is why I got cassette tape with this brother, Barack, man, from back in the day, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's, 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 it's humbling to be here, you know, amongst the future rulers of this planet Earth, man. You know, all praise for that. Um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of good speakers that came up here today said a lot of powerful things. Uh, uh, and uh, I believe it was, it was either Barack or Ben, somebody said something about competition. You see what I'm saying? You got, you got this wicked spirit where you got Israelites and the spirit of competition. And that ain't never held the nation, all right? We standing here on Dan Malandra Boulevard. One side of this boulevard, you got Crips, the other side, you got Bloods. You know why they kill each other? Competition. They want to see who's going to be the hardest nigga, and that's ridiculous. You see what I'm saying? We cannot have that spirit like that. So if you could, we could meet Isaiah 52 and 8, but shot that. Because this is basically what it boiled down to. All right, Israel need to stop trying to take the matters of the Most High into their own hands. All right, because they've never worked for us. Right? 52 and 8, can I go ahead? Isaiah chapter 52, verse 8. Thy watchmen shall lift up the voice. Uh -huh. With the voice together shall they sing. Uh -huh. For they shall see eye to eye uh -huh. when the Lord shall bring again Zion. So we're going to see eye to eye when Zion is brought again. Zion ain't brought again right now. We're not in the kingdom. So we're going to have our differences. And that just is what it is. Are we going to do cry and fight over it all the time? No, we're not. We're going to see eye to eye in the kingdom. Before then, we're going to have our ministry differences. But we understand what time it is and, 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 and the time that we live in. And how pivotal it is for us to do what we can to come together like Voltron and do what we can for the nation. We have to. You understand what I'm saying? Matter of fact, give me Amos 1 chamber real quick. Now, that's the scripture I read this morning. I came across the scripture this morning that was all of the spirit. You know what I'm saying? That I'm going to bring it out now. Now, this scripture, it has a certain application to its initial context. But there's a way, you know, you can spin it to kind of sum up what's going on now amongst Israel. So you can't Amos 1 chamber. You don't. Amos chapter 4 verse 10, uh -huh. I have sent among you the pestilence uh -huh. after the manner of Egypt. So we know we get plagued with pestilence as a people right now, right? We don't know. Your young men have I slain with the sword. A young man is dying out here in the streets, are they not? We don't know. And have taken away your horses. Uh -huh. Go ahead. And I have made the stink of your camps to come up unto your nostrils. It says the stink of your camps have came up in your nostrils. You got these Negroes running around these damn camps acting like they perfect. And they stink and all they dirty lounges getting aired all over the internet. Does that mean the brothers is wicked? Or does that mean the brothers is not part of the elect? No, it doesn't mean that. But we all need to understand our righteousness is a filthy rag. This whole holier than now, I'm better than you, this and that attitude, that's got to go away. Right? Because all that's doing is stagnating the growth and the maturation of Yahshua. All right? We have to understand that, man. When, and now we're looking at this, these stones, right? The stones of the ephod, the stones that represent each of the 12 tribes of Israel. Now, if anybody's familiar with these stones, these stones don't come like this. They don't look like anything. They're on a damn rock with dirt on it when you first find these stones. And that's each and every one of us who is just a nigga walking down the street in the world. 
That's what we were. It takes work to become this precious and foul and polished stone. Right. So we got to understand that, right? Yeah. So the law of statutes and commandments, that's what polishes us, and that's what we need to dedicate ourselves to. Instead of acting like I'm polished and nigga, you not. You understand what I'm saying? That's ridiculous. So real quick, too, if you could, what's that scripture you, uh, you wanted to get? Uh, Leviticus 19 and 18. Real quick. We got to go back to the bread and butter to the law. The scriptures we all know in the foundation of the Constitution that the Most High made with us as a people. Period. Go ahead. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 18. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not avenge, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. We don't. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Uh -huh. I am the Lord. That's right. You shall not avenge, nor bear a grudge against any of the children of thy people. And all that's going on is grudges. That's what separates us. The same reason why you got the power rules on one side of the street, the crypts and the crypts killing each other, the power rules killing each other. All that's going on because of grudges. And grudges over what, man? That's damn ridiculous. We gotta stop doing that. We gotta realize the time that we live in it right now and how important it is for us to assemble, man. You see what I'm saying? And we ain't all gotta be necessarily on the same doctrine like I read earlier in Isaiah 52 and 8. But we know that we all want to court and we all is collectively dedicated to the awakening of Yashara. That's what it's about right there, right? So if you could give me John 16 and 21 real quick. It's John chapter 16, verse 21. A woman, a woman, when she is in travail, has sorrow. So a woman, when she is in travail, has sorrow. In Israel, we are women in travail right now. So we have a sorrow, we're going through hell. But what we're getting ready to do is deliver that baby. You see what I'm saying? The deliverance of that baby, that symbolizes the deliverance of us as a nation. You see what I'm saying? But there's going to be pain right now. But what do you have to do when you're going through pain? I know a lot of us in here as fathers, we got mothers in here. That mother got to push harder. So we got to push harder right now. That's what we need to do so we can hurry up and deliver this baby, right? Now, the brother who was speaking about the, the, um, uh, uh, the training and whatnot, the war, what also happens, the bloody show increases, right? I mean, more blood is going to come. It's going to be a little bit more bloodshed before this baby is born. But we have to be prepared for that, and we have to push as hard as we can so we can deliver that baby, which is symbolic of our salvation, man. Go ahead. Because her hour has come, uh -huh. but as soon as she is delivered, now real quick, as soon as that baby is delivered, read on, of the child, uh -huh. she remembereth no more the anguish for joy that a man is born into the world. So we need to hurry up and push so we can get that joy of the kingdom. And that joy of the kingdom is going to make us forget all the sorrow and oppression that we've had to suffer in this bitter place, man. Yeah. All right? But, you know, I don't want to say too many words. I'm, again, I'm humbled to be here, man, as a young man in the midst of a lot of these elders who have done a lot of work and paved the way for us. And that's what we as young men need. We need the older elders that will facilitate our growth and help us and guide us in righteousness through the spirit of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. That's what we need. We need y'all leadership skills. We need y'all been, we young, man. We ain't been all the places y'all been. We ain't worked the job y'all work. So we need y'all to help us out. You see what I'm saying? And I'm glad because I believe I'm in a room full of elders who is ready and willing to do that with no questions asked. You see what I'm saying? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And um, in close by me, I just say, um, like, I'd rather brother have, like, dispute or disagreement with one West. You can't be know that. But if one West was perfect, what would our purpose be? I came in 99, the split was when? 96? So, so if it was perfect, what would the world work be? Zakari, Ashufa, Yermaya, and the younger brothers here that came in after the split. So nothing perfect, brother. That's why wisdom and knowledge shall be established after our times. After our times. Right? That's right. 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 And yeah, we, we design a flag for the nation of Israel, which brothers will come in there with color, Judah color. Benjamin, and then the color of peace. We have the menorah, the Mishra, inshallah, and the 12 stones, which represent the 12 tribe of the nation of Israel. And, um, the 12 tribe of the nation of Israel are not black people, brothers and sisters. They're not American Indians, the native, the Hispanic, the Dominicans, the native of those nations make up the part of the nation of Israel. And um, I just like um, Paul quote it. When I read the book of um, Revelation 7 chapter, after the 144,000 seal, 
He said there was a great multitude of seal also, right? That's no man could number. So that was plenty, can yeah. So you're going to tell me that's only Libras? <laughs> that great multitude that nobody could number, that's only Libras, right? So we, 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 we preach, and we will continue to hold on firm to the 12 tribes, and we have it in modify it and bring more people to it, yeah. but that won't stick for now. That's right. Can yeah. Wow, this is beautiful. Can we give ourselves a hand? Because, I mean, you gotta, because a lot of y'all wasn't here, 
for what we're talking about as far as the burial. Yes, yeah, so we want to reiterate this because it's very important.